Hey everyone, Reed Hanks of Valor Ridge. We're going to talk about in this video is fighting the physical and the spiritual battle. Let's go ahead and get started. You know, today, uh, Friday, October the 13th, uh, I've decided that I wanted to run the 107 drill. I do it every Friday, but this one is a different one. Uh, I did this one in 4345. Now, some of you that have seen me do this before, you'd be like, man, that's like twice or more than twice as slow as what you normally do it right Reed well that's true but today I did a physical one and a spiritual one the physical was the first 10 cycles the spiritual was the second 10 cycles I took no breaks in a row I did 20 straight and that's why that times two is there this was 4,000 yards full equipment I run it on gravel not grass or pavement and it's 100 shots now my first 10 clean right 10 out of you know 10 out of 10 clean cycles 50 out of 50 shots I, I fought the physical one and then I just decided you know what I've already done 10 let's do 11 then 12 then 13 and I got real tired right around cycle 13 or 14 guys I mean when you're used to doing you know 10 of them and then you do 50 percent more up to that point 14 15 cycles you know I was thinking to myself well you know I can pack it in for the day and you know, I'm already shooting so well. I'm shooting fine. Hell, I've cleaned it up to this point. But then the voice, you know, kind of came into my head, man. You know, a voice kind of came to my head. It said, it said, give God your best. If you fight for him, he'll fight for you. And lo and behold, I kept going. You know, uh, that, that second 10 cycles 11 through through 20. That was the spiritual battle. And the spiritual one is much harder to fight than the physical. Anybody can get physically fit, condition themselves, do your workouts, do your marksmanship training and all that stuff. And, you know, that is what it is. Spiritual battle deep down inside. Did you give God your best today? Did you give, did you give what you had? You know, did you believe in him? And so I ran that second cycle and that's what you get. I know exactly which shot that was on uh, cycle 14. I uh, did an Olympic prone instead of my normal prone, you know, because of my breathing. And that's what pushed my shot up there. It's still on the trap, but had I stuck with what was working up to that point, it would have been 100 out of 100 shots right where they needed to go. So today, no matter what's going on in your life, you know, personally, no matter what's going on in the world today, you know, what uh, negativity the news cycle can do, whatever situation the world can drum up to make everybody scared and nervous, uh, I want you guys to remember something. You know, if you believe in yourself, you believe in God to give him your best, the chips usually fall where they're supposed to fall because we really don't have time to worry about all that stuff. You know, if we spend our time giving thanks, you know, it's kind of hard to feel negative. You know, if you spend your time giving thanks and being grateful for what you have and thankful for what God's given you, you know, it's kind of a difficult thing to, to uh, you know, think about anything else. So, you know, point of the video here, we're going to go through struggles you know, the first 10 is hard enough. Second 10 was certainly mentally and physically taxing. But it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor for life. And if you're well prepared, if you have a sound belief system, if you have faith, and if you do the right thing and you keep going no matter how hard it gets, it's going to turn out the way that it's supposed to, guys. So that's my video for you for this week. And hopefully I've got some people out there that, that this will help. And uh, other than that, the link to this drill is in the description box below. I've got drills just like it in my books. And if you want to come out in person, we can help you. Come on out to Valley Ridge and we'd love to train with you. Other than that, have a wonderful weekend. And go out and apply uh, these hard lessons. This is Reed Hendricks with Valley Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.